So we're out in the woods today. Damn it, Bobby, get back. Damn, shit. Anyway, shit. So today we're gonna be tracking some cryptids through this here. This is a very much of a hot spot. This is known as supernatural forest. This is fever forest. God damn it. All right. Well, I'm also letting it be B-roll, well, you know what I mean? This is how you communicate with Sasquatches. <laughs> Damn it, let's go deeper, Bobby. Greetings, everyone. Marcus Camel, not Mark Camel, Marcus Camel. I've already had a fucking lawsuit over that. I don't feel like going back down that road. Get out the goddamn shot, Bobby. Today we're looking for some crew. Spider web. Oh, big ass spider web. Oh, shit. Well, I just walked through it, so. Anyway. Oh, shit. I hate these fucking woods. We're actually here looking for nature's monsters. We're going to trek into these woods here. We're following down this path. This is called the Path of No Return. I don't know how someone ever came up with the name Path of No Return if you never returned anyway. Like, who, who returned to tell them that it was called the Path of No? I don't fucking know. God damn it, how do you work this thing? What the fuck is this show called again? <laughs> You're literally about this close to getting fucking fired from this astounding production. I was playing, Bobby, I love you. Now we're, see science tells me to go down the dark path here. And I think that's what we're gonna do. Bobby, go get a, go get a dark, go get a nice cool dark panorama or something. Back the fuck up, you know, whatever you gotta do to make the shot look cool. See these? Now a lot of people think these right here are truck tracks. They were right. Why are you going so far back away? Yeah, this is a nice ass looking shot. Bobby, I didn't tell you to fucking speak. My ass is why the hell you were back. See the power and strength? Only a goddamn powerful animal could have done that. Look at this. Look at this front of me. Now, usually during lovemaking, Bigfoots, they'll hang over and they'll latch on while they're getting fucked. Right like this. And they bend trees. That's how hard they're fucking. I would not want to be on the receiving end of that dick. Damn. If I had to guesstimate, I'd have to say it's at least... Ooh. Yay big, the girth. Damn. Holy shit. Where are we gonna go? Oh. Oh, Mark Camel. Mark Camel, not Mark Hamel. I got fucking sued over that one time. See, they're showing us where to go. Damn, Bobby, you gotta keep up. Holy shit, that's not a goddamn web. I don't know what the hell it is. Bobby, go deal with that. Now, this is probably as good a time as any to mention our great sponsor since we're out here looking for them. <sighs> Monster Energy. It's got taurine, B vitamins, and fucking, I don't know, guamine, cytosine, shit. Monsters Energy lets you hunt monsters better. Monster. I don't even like them that much. If it was for a goddamn contract, that would never be. Oh, shit. This is it. Oh, shit. All right. Now, as you can see, Many children have went missing in these great woods here. Look at there, that's the first, that's the first bit of evidence, right, right there. Now you look me in the eye and tell me that fucking it hasn't been here. Look at that. Oh, fuck. I'm not ready to do that. No sorry. I, 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 I have fought. I have fought a Sasquatch and I have wrestled Nessie. But fuck it, I am not fucking with no goddamn clown. All right, Bobby, keep up. You hear that, Bobby? Oh, yeah. Mm. That smells like Bigfoot sack right there. They like to take their sacks and rub them against the trees here, kind of in this motion, like so, to attract mates, females, and sit. 
Now, sometimes, little people, a lot of people don't know this, but Bigfoots actually do partake in homosexual relations quite often. They, they, they will milk each other. Good God. That's really why people don't see them too much. You know that, right? Like, people are like, well, if there's Bigfoots, why can't I see them? A lot of people don't know this. It's because they're fucking each other and they're dudes. There's nothing wrong with that, of course, but that's why they're not breeding. Because that, I guess they just love Sasquatch sack. All right, keep moving. I'll go touch it. You, you heard it though? It was like, Whoa. Now, I thought we were searching for Bigfoot. There's definitely Bigfoot out here. Most definitely. However, I think we have stumbled upon the Native American Wyuglu. And what that is, essentially, that's a big fucking bird. Now, you see that right over there? Now, that's just destroying trees to make a nest. That tells you how big that fucker is right over there. Now, we just heard some big flaps. Like that. What's my line? Now, this here is called Satan's Rooftop. And the reason it's called that because back in the early 1800s when this was built, the wild glue came through here and fucking just ravaged. Look at it. It tore a whole, ate the whole damn family of five. It was not a good day for them. Swooped up their baby, one gulp, you know, fed it to their children. Now, wild glues, those have a special call. Now, those things, with that, you want to flop around. Go. I think I actually might have summoned that motherfucker from the death of hell. Let's get out of here. Now, wild glues, those are pretty, those are pretty uncommon for this part of North America. But they are not uncommon to gay ass woods in the middle of nowhere, I'll tell you that much. Shit. Now, all these truckers have come through here in the past. Let's get right up and eating. Right up. Now let's go through the, damn this trail. Fuck this heat. Now where's the car? We, we have walked this damn trail for about two hours. And I cannot find the way back to this fucking car. This stupid rental they gave me a piece of shit. Normally I take my Tacoma 2050. Jesus Christ. They are like, no, you need a rental, Mark. Liability, Mark. Your ex-wife took your truck, Mark. We want you to smell Sasquatch nut, Mark. I need a damn cigarette. Now we've come up to a clearing and there's some stuff I'd like to show you here. Now take a look at this. Now what you can see when the Sasquatch are being anally penetrated. They like to get on all fours like this. Grab on tight to the root and just kick it. Now these Sasquatches, they're big. So you can imagine that they're, they're getting wailed and fucked out here. Right in this field, they like for all to watch. See, these stands out here, these are meant to watch Sasquatches fuck. A lot of people think it's for deer, it's not. Damn, that have been a great find. We had some Sasquatch come. We're just gonna have to go further, deeper. See if we can find it. All right, boy, let's just find some Sasquatch come. Now what you see here, this, this right here. Yeah. That's a baby Yugaloo feather. And that just shows you how massive that just shows you how massive these things are. Imagine one 10 times the size of that, running around, scooping up little Sasquatches. 
they eat from the ass up first too by the way they put their beak right up in that ass and the reason they do that is because most sasquatches are getting fucked in the ass and that's going to loosen it up for them sweat my eyes i'm just gonna close them that loosens up the rump and they go straight in from there like a fucking worm <sighs> god damn now don't get discouraged we're gonna find that yugaloo and hopefully it'll be eating some sasquatch booty i just gotta believe i choose to believe now first time i knew i wanted to be a cryptozoologist i was 10 years old and I came out of my house because I heard some hooting and some hollering. It sounded like something was getting real fucked up. And I went outside my window and I saw a fucking werewolf eating a baby unicorn. And I said, holy shit, this ain't real. So I went and got my daddy. My daddy came out and he said, I said, daddy, what is that over there? He said, son, that is a fucking werewolf eating a baby unicorn. And I said, daddy, why doesn't anyone know about this? And he said, well, son... People aren't ready to accept this. They're not ready to accept Sasquatches fucking other Sasquatches in the ass. They're not ready for Nessie licking herself underwater. Now, that's the thing. That actually happened, by the way. I, I, that was in episode 47. You go back in the series, and I'll leave a link in the description for that. But, buy my merch. But anyway, ever since then, I knew that I had to find these crypto monsters and show to the world how truly disgusting and a poor with nature they really are. Now, I have yet to find one physically, but that does not stop the ratings or the uh, the viewers from wanting to see more. And you know I'll do anything for the footage. So we're gonna travel on. Come on, Billy. Bobby, shit. Action. Here's my prescription sunglasses. Say action? Mm -hmm. Shit. Fuck. God damn it. Put them in the fanny pack. This is why you always travel with the fanny pack, by the way. Hands free, right on your waist. I don't give a shit if they call me gay. Fuck them. All right, now you see this over here? Come here. Come here, Bobby. A lot of people think that it's just a regular mouth. That's not a mouth. That is all Yulu shit right over there. It has been built up over decades. Now, Sasquatches, they love to roll around in that now because it, it deters Yulus from scooping up their young. Okay? It also helps because they smell like Sasquatch ball sack. It really, that smells worse than any shit I've ever smelled. So they roll around that. It's kind of almost like a perfume. I can't take it. Oh, Let's get out of here. And Billy pointed out something useful for once besides my lack of yeah, facial hair. Anyway, now, right there, that's a that's prime Sasquatch den. Now, See, now it's small for them because they like to cuddle. They're great cuddlers. The craftsman work is superb. You see all this? Now look now. Sometimes I like to hide, hide babies in here. Baby Sasquatch! Baby Sasquatch! All right, I think there's none here. Damn. Now, if you want to use a Sasquatch den for your own den, you gotta shake it out first because there's a whole lot of cum in there. Dripping with cum. A lot of people think it's tree sap. That's not tree sap. That is Sasquatch cum. Now, don't let my lack of evidence deter you. Just take me for my word. I am an expert cryptozoologist and my name is Mark Camel. Not Mark Camel. Marcus Camel. Camel, like the, like the, the, the animal. Please don't copyright me, Mark Hamill. Anyway, we're gonna be heading back in. Holy shit! Billy, Bobby. Did you hear that? I think it's that Sasquatch. Oh, oh shit! shit. Oh. Oh. Ah, Bobby! Oh. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Come on, Bobby. Oh. Come on, get it. Come on, get it. Uh, 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 Come on, Bob. Oh, God. Oh, oh God, my leg. Oh, oh, oh. oh, the car.
Where have you been for two days? Sasquatches. They found me. And they... You told me to go. They... So I did. They took me into the ranks. Crack out the car, goddamn. They took me into the ranks. Oh, God. They had sex with me. Oh, no. Shut up, Bobby. Like in the bud? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, in the bud. But, Bobby, they have a whole culture of society that we could never, ever ponder. There's no war. It's all the butt sex you can imagine. It's beautiful, Bobby. Oh, God. All right, let's, let's get out of here. We gotta call the police or something. No, 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 no. No. What, you like it or something? I can't go back, Bobby. What do you mean? What do you mean you can't go back? Oh, you won with them, Bobby. No, no, okay, no, 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 don't. Bobby. Who's gonna take your place? Find another homo sapien. Bobby, take the car. Oh, God, I, I don't know how to drive sick. Fuck my wife. Sell the rights to my show. Bobby, just don't. Okay, hang on, okay, look, TV, TV. Just let him go, Bobby. I gotta go, Bobby.